In state news, Alabama is honoring veterans lost to suicide this month with a new campaign called Operation We Remember. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple shares how this campaign will raise awareness for suicide prevention. 152 of these American flags will be on display at college campuses across Alabama to remember the 152 Alabama veterans lives lost to suicide in 2020. It's a problem Puck Esposito knows too well. Mr. Brightsides received a game ball from Coach Pearl as our student veteran of the game. Four days later, I got a call that Mr. Brightsides was gone. Esposito is the director of Auburn's Veteran Resource Center, which lost one of their own, Navy veteran Josh Marshall, last year. Yeah, I will tell you the pain that came to the family at the Veterans Resource Center is one we deal with every day. Marshall's roommate, friend, and fellow veteran, Clee Buchanan, remembers him as the life of the party. Josh, uh, man, we call him Mr. Brightside for a reason. He, uh, the, the song Mr. Brightside was his go-to karaoke song. Um, every every time we went out and did anything together, he was always singing Mr. Brightside. Buchanan doesn't want anyone to go through what his friend did and hopes the campaign encourages people to check in with one another. I want them just kind of, you know, be able to see those flags and kind of ask questions, know what they're what it's about, know what it's for, and then kind of just, um, you know, reach out to someone they know, um, whether the veteran or not, and just kind of make sure that, you know, everybody's good. The initiative was launched in part by the Department of Veterans Affairs and Department of Mental Health. Commissioner Kimberly Boswell says the state has taken steps to provide more mental health resources, like adding two new crisis centers next year and encouraging anyone with suicidal thoughts to call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline 988. I had the good fortune of knowing Josh's mom, uh, so I was aware of Josh's death. It was devastating for the family. Um, and today we want to honor all of those who have had that experience. According to Alabama's Department of Veterans Affairs, there are more than 400,000 veterans in Alabama. In Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19. So far, nine campuses are participating with the flags on display all of September, which is National Suicide Prevention Awareness Month.